Hello, this is Lindsay from Have Clothes Will Travel. I share style and shopping content as well as travel guides. And for today's video, I'm talking about the shopping app Timu and whether or not it's legit. For this review, I'll be focusing specifically on Timu's clothing. And this review is not sponsored by Timu. I bought all of the items that are featured in it myself. So Timu is a very hot topic right now. The shopping app is taking the world by storm and giving Shein and Amazon a run for their money as the most downloaded app in the United States. With many of Timu's most popular items costing less than $1, it's hard to believe this website and shopping app is legit. Now, if you haven't heard of Timu yet, it's an online marketplace for extremely cheap consumer goods that are typically shipping directly from warehouses and factories in China. What this means is that Timu is not actually making any of the products that it sells on its website. It's just a marketplace for vendors to sell their items. And Timu makes money by taking a cut of all the sales that happen on the website and shopping app. It's similar to Amazon in that sense. For this review, I ordered a dress, pajamas, sweatsuit, and some activewear to see if Timu lives up to the hype. I did this more than six months ago, so I've been consistently wearing and washing the items in this review to see how good or how bad of quality they are. First go through the quality of the items that I received in this order, and then I'll end with talking about Timu's shipping and return policy and whether or not this app is legit. In this clothing review, I am also going to try to pronounce the brand names of these items that I ordered and bear with me because I have no idea how to say some of these and they're kind of weird. So <laughs> apologies in advance for that. So sizing with Timu. Again, Timu doesn't actually make any of the items that it features on its website and shopping app. So when it comes to sizing, it's likely going to vary and it's going to be really important that you know your measurements. I'll put a link to how to do this in the description of this video. Now, let's take a look at my Timu clothing order. First up, we have this heart print midi dress by a dress, I think is how you say it. This dress from Timu is something that I wasn't really that impressed with, even though it was only about $15. The material feels like I'm wearing a plastic bag and the stitching was really wonky and just kind of falling apart already, even though some of these videos I hadn't even worn it yet. It's pretty poor quality. That said, this dress is true to size. I'm normally a size medium and that is what I ordered in this dress. It fits really well. I do think the color and the print are cute. It does photograph and not look too bad in the video, but overall it's not my favorite. Next up, I have these cute print loose pajamas by Cosme Fashion Pajamas. That's a mouthful. Anyways, these pajamas did not even cost $7, and for that price, I am beyond impressed with them. They are soft and cute, plus they fit really well. I've had them for over six months and have been wearing and washing them almost weekly since I got them. And they're holding up just fine with no visible signs of wear. The sizing of these is also true to size. I again ordered a medium and they fit great. I will say that I could do with the waistband being a little looser, so ordering up a size if you prefer a baggy fit would have been a good idea. Um, this pajama set does come with a sleep mask too, and I must say it's horrible quality. I honestly threw it away already. I don't even know where it is anymore. <laughs> but the pajamas themselves are quite nice. I would be interested in ordering more pajamas by Cosme Fashion Pajamas via Timu again. Next up, I have this solid colored sleeveless sports tank by Ictiv, I think is how you say it. For less than $10, this is a perfectly fine sports tank top. The sizing on this one though was a little weird. I again ordered the size medium, but it's just, it's weirdly wide on top. I probably should have sized down for this one. Um, it is comfortable for workouts though, and it's holding up just fine in the wash. I wash all of my workout clothing on the machine's heavy cycle, so it's going to have to be tough to survive with me. Um, and so far, this top is doing just fine for over six months of use. Next up, I have this thermal sports jacket by Qualicos. This is the most expensive item that I ordered from Timu. Um, it was just under $30. I really like this track jacket though. It's super comfortable and it's actually designed quite well, even though it is still a relatively inexpensive jacket. Um, I've been using it for morning runs and to wear to the gym until I'm done warming up. It's not quite as fitted on me though as the image on the website. It's kind of baggy through the midsection. It's not 
the end of the world, but I do like my exercise jackets to be a little more fitted. I think sizing down this jacket though would make it too small for me. Overall though, I am happy with this jacket. Next up, I have this casual drawstring pantsuit set by Lovely Wholesale. I ordered the sweatsuit by Lovely Wholesale because it was the most popular item on Team Mood at the time I placed my order. I was curious to see what the hype was about this sweatsuit. Plus, I'm always in need of more loungewear. This sweatsuit looks exactly like the photo and is again true to size, so no complaints there. I mean, it's hard to knock a sweatsuit that only costs $15, but overall, I am not impressed with the sweatsuit. The inside is soft, but it doesn't breathe at all, so it's not very comfortable. I feel as though I'm suffocating when I have it on. I really don't think this is going to last very long either. It feels as though it's going to disintegrate after a few more washes, plus it's already starting to pill and I've only really worn this one a few times and washed it a few times. I'll personally be avoiding lovely wholesale items going forward because this tracksuit is just not that impressive. Now, we have the Women's Wide Waistband Sports Leggings by Gia Zen. I didn't have especially high hopes for these $6 leggings from Timu, but they've proved me wrong. These are comfortable to wear, plus they have usable pockets. Again, these are true to size, and so far they have been holding up just fine in the wash and appear to be pretty good quality. I mean, they're not see-through. You can't see my underwear in them when I'm squatting or bending over or anything, which can't even say that about expensive leggings these days sometimes. But are these my favorite exercise leggings? I mean, no, but for the price, I am really happy with them. Now, how fast is Timu shipping? In my experience, it took Timu three days to process my order. This means it took three days for it to leave the respective warehouses and to ship to my address in the US. I use Timu's standard shipping because this is free. Timu does offer express shipping for an additional fee. The shipping information did not say exactly where it shipped from, just that it was an international destination. It then took exactly seven days to ship to my address in the United States. States from somewhere international. My order took exactly 10 days to reach me in the United States. This was also spot on for the shipping time frame estimate that Timu had given me when I checked out. So what is the Timu return policy? Overall, I was pleasantly surprised with the items that I ordered from Timu. However, that first red heart dress that I ordered was pretty horrible quality. Because of this, I decided that I wanted to return it because I just didn't think I would be wearing it because it just looks kind of icky. So I decided to try returning the dress. And for that reason, I took a few photos of it and started filling out the return on Timu's website. Once I submitted the return, it only took a few minutes for Timu to accept it and begin issuing me a refund. The money went back into my PayPal account that same day. Timu also told me to just keep the dress. That's why it's in this video. They didn't make me ship it back. Now, I would assume it's not going to be that way for every order you place with Timu, but that was kind of a nice perk this time around. <laughs> However, even if I had to send the dress back, the Timu website states that return shipping is free on your first return for every order within 90 days from the return of purchase. So that is a very generous return policy. So overall, my experience with Timu's returns was really positive. The online form was easy to fill out and everything was really quick. Typically companies like this do not have a good return policy or any return policy really at all. However, that was not my experience with Timu. Bottom line, my experience with Timu was positive for clothing. I would be interested in ordering pajamas and activewear from Timu again. Unlike other cheap websites like Light in the Box, I do recommend Timu for inexpensive clothing items. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more shopping reviews like this one.